Larry Nelson. Larry Nelson. Why do you keep trying to play like people don't understand or know why you are so upset and or why Von Yvonne did you like she did you? I don't agree how she did you, but then at the same time, I don't agree how you did her either. Both of you were in a pseudo relationship. I don't care what you say. You could, Larry, you, you can explain it all day. Both of you shared pictures. Both of you were speaking to each other in a sexual, flirtatious, or and or inappropriate manner. Now, she's single. You're the one that's married and claim to be married. You have your wedding ring on. You're not separated or anything like that. You or getting a divorce or whatever, however you want to put it. You entered into this relationship with her, this virtual relationship with, with Von Yvonne. Von Yvonne says there was no relationship. Von Yvonne says there was absolutely no um, goading on her part to have you send her the pictures you sent her or whatever the message is. Because to this day, we have not seen any pictures and we have not seen any of these messages. Now, if there was a picture, I'd missed it. But I know I have not seen any posted messages from either one of you. And have I missed something? To prove that one was pressuring the other. But as grown people over 40. I'm 48. Okay. I'll be 49 in June. You know good and well. That you were being sexual towards this woman. Whether it was jokingly whether it was in writing, whether it was in pictures, or whatever the case may be. She, uh, and I, and Vani, you know you were sexual toward this man. Please stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Vani, what are you ashamed of? You a single woman. But the, th the shame is that he's married. That's what I think you're embarrassed about. Okay, sorry about that. I had to move my car, pick up my lunch, and come back and get a, bit, a good parking spot in the parking garage of my job. So anyway, y'all, back to what I was saying. Larry, I'm not trying to go off on you. I did a video on you, I think, one time or twice last year. Last year, I believe. And um, it was just when I was learning about your situation and all the drama that was going on with it. But Larry... I don't know. I mean, I just feel like, is anybody going to tell you, Larry? Like, Larry. It's apparent that you like plus-size women, Larry. This is no disrespect to your wife, but she's not no size 8 or 7 or 6 or 10 or 14. She's plus-size, Larry. And, Larry, it, you know... I'm a plus size woman. I've been every size you can think of as far as in that plus size range. I've been anywhere from a 12 all the way to a 26. No, I'm not that large anymore as far as a 26, but I'm still a plus size woman. And I don't have, let me explain to you real quick. Let me pump my own, let me, let me, let me blow myself up a little bit. I don't have no issue dating. Or meeting men. I go on some fabulous dates. And don't have to put nothing out for it. And have had some wonderful boyfriends. And men in my life. And friends in my life. And and if I wanted to be married now. I could be. Trust and believe that. With this gray hair. Okay. So. Not that you're coming at large women. But that's your. It's becoming where. It's not just about what Von Yvonne and TSCC did to you. It's about all of the components that re were related to it are now your enemy. All of the components are now, look what, look what happened to me. Okay, Larry, you, you know exactly why this woman did you like she did you. You created, you assisted in creating this relationship with her you assisted in creating this relationship with this older 
obese, lonely woman that you keep, and I'm using those terms because that's what you use a lot, okay? Von Von did her game, you did your game. She just came out on it better than you did. And you were told before this happened to leave that woman alone. But it, it, it happened. So it's like, it's not going to go away. It happened. It's a part of what happened to you. There's things that have happened to me that I'm telling you. It's like, I question them. Like, dang, why? Why, 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 why? But for me to be angry every day and say I'm just talking about it and then... 10 minutes later, you going completely off. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your therapy. Now you said you've been diagnosed with, with PTSD because you went to a therapist and now you're on medication. Okay, fine. But that's not an excuse for you to be going off and acting a fool because you're diagnosed with PTSD. You still have common sense. We, I have PTSD. I've never been diagnosed, but I guarantee you, I could get a, I could get a prescription, but it does not mean that I get to now. Okay, I have PTSD, so I'm gonna come online and act a fool, and I ain't gonna get in trouble for it because I'm on medication. Now that's foolishness. Once again, you are obsessed, and uh, let's say you're obsessing on and almost almost jealous because other youtubers haven't haven't had the same fate you do you never know we all have our turn we all have our turn so you never know what's gonna happen i mean i don't wish anything bad on anybody i really don't and i'm sad that that happened to you i'm sad that uh you know your daughter got caught up in that i'm sad about all that but the whole thing is larry have you truly learned from what happened? Have you re re truly learned? Have you truly learned about what happened? My thing is this: you you making videos? I'm making a video too, cause I got time today. Larry, the reason why? Let me answer the question. Let me just answer the question. Let me just state it again. You know why? Von Von did you that that way. You were so angry, you kept saying, well, I know where you live. I know where you live. You say it wasn't a threat, but you specifically kept saying it because you were angry. And it sounded like you were trying to say, if I want to come get you, I'll come get you. You acted a fool on them videos. You know as a black man, you can't do that. You know that. So is it fair? No. But you were so angry, you were lightweight trying to intimidate her into stopping what she was doing when all the stuff started coming about the pictures and about this and about that. Um, huh, let I'm gonna say something, but my thing is this what are y'all looking at? See, we got okay, I work in a really big building, um, and we got. Of there's a lot of training out we they got a lot of trainings going on there's people from all over the county here and they're walking around and looking around and you can tell they're they don't actually work in this building because they look just they're just dressed differently although it's jean friday i can tell who's who um but yeah so back to what i was saying i'm getting too hyped i'm let me let me have my lunch and chill but larry please stop acting like it, it, it was just uh, just so ridiculous for her to do that. Because, Larry, once again, you two established something. Whether it was more on her side or more on your side or less on her side or less on your side. You had established something. Because we ain't going to never know the full story about what you and Von Von really talked about. So, it's both y'all fault. It's both of y'all fault. But one person went a little farther than the other. That's what happened. I'm not siding with anybody. I'm just saying, y'all both entered into that pseudo-relationship together. <gasps> Pardon me. Von and Von got upset. She said something. You said something. And they got all do 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 And that's why we're here. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.